have a lot of lovely stuff. We're going to have... Establish my covenant with you. Go to the world and preach. The like build an ark like that God, God is all knowing. That means he knows everything. He went he knows ahead everything. And he knows tomorrow. An ark. Like I'm so telling silly. you, like you're, you're so seen out, like you're so guess a, what? You know, you're just made all the same. Right? So and never feel guess what? to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the Solid Rock Children's Church. It's always a joy to have you connected. How are you? How is school? Hope everything is okay. How are your parents? Hope everybody is fine. We're praying for you, even, you know, as we still have the pandemic of coronavirus. We're praying for you, boys and girls, that the protection of God is upon you, is upon your home, is upon your family, in Jesus' name. Today, we have a line of, of, of activities. We have the worship. We're going to have a memory verse. There's going to be the quizzes. And at the end, there's going to be the assignment. Make sure that you participate in all of it because it's going to bless you. I will see you at the lesson. So I need you to participate in all of the programs and I'll see you soon. God bless you. Now let's go into a time of worship.
let's listen to the memory verse for the week. Hi, my name is Joy and today I'll be doing a memory verse. Numbers 22 verse 18. Balaam responded to Balak's messengers, even if he were to give me a palace filled with silver and gold, I would be powerless to do anything against the Lord my God. Bye, thank you for watching. And now it's time for the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. God's people camped near a walled city. The king of that city was afraid when he saw so many people camped nearby. He sent for a prophet named Balaam. Do something to make these people go away. So Balaam started off on his donkey to see what he could do. That made God angry because he wanted his people to be there. So God sent up an angel with a sword to stop Balaam. Balaam couldn't see the angel, but his donkey could and stopped suddenly. So Balaam started to beat the donkey to make it go. But the donkey said, Why are you beating me? You have made me look foolish. I wish I had a sword in my hand. I would kill you right now. But the donkey wasn't afraid. You have ridden me for years. Have I ever done this to you before? At this point, Balaam realized he was talking to a donkey. No. No, you haven't. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes to see the angel. Balaam quickly bowed face down on the ground. The angel spoke. God sent me to stop you from harming his people. If your donkey had not turned away, I would have killed you. Balaam was shocked. I have sinned against the Lord. I will not do this thing. And that's how God used a donkey to save his people. Welcome back, boys and girls. Uh, well, today's story, um, he actually showed me, and I hope he showed you, that God can use anything to speak to us. God can speak to us through, you know, his word. When we study his word, he can use our parents to speak to us. He can use our, you know, teachers in church to speak to us, to tell us his mind, you know, regarding our choices sometimes or regarding the things we want to do. And you can see in that story how Balaam, you know, uh, could not see what his donkey could see. Ahead of, of the donkey was an angel who was trying to stop them from going into, you know, their death, actually. Because God wanted his people to be at that particular place. He didn't want Balaam to interfere. Desperate, even though the king, you know, had call, had called the prophet and he said, I want you to make sure that this problem disappears. But sometimes God wants to do things his way. God wants his people, you know, he's always, he loves his people and he will do everything to protect us, his children. So boys and girls, 
I want you to always make sure to that you listen to that still, you know, very tiny voice. Sometimes it might be even God speaking to you in your heart. You know, once is something that is that will please the heart of God. Just know that that is God speaking. Once is not your will, you know. Sometimes we want to do things and we want to do it by all means. And nothing can stop us. But this story, you know, is showing us that sometimes we just need to listen to that still voice. Or we just need to listen to mom and dad saying, you know, son, don't do it this way. Daughter, let's, can we even look at this another option? So boys and girls, God bless you. God is going to always reveal himself to you, especially children, because God is so interested in you. He loves you so much. He wants to guide you. He wants to be the light, the light, you know, on your path. God wants you to, you know, consult him, to actually trust him with your future, with your life, with your life choices. And I pray that the Lord, you would be able to hear him when he speaks to you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, boys and girls, and I hope you've been blessed. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. I hope you had a lovely week so far. Time for this week's quiz. All right, number one. Because God had helped the Israelites, many people were afraid of them. Which king was so afraid that he wanted to curse the Israelites? A. King Balak B. King David C. King Ahab or D. King Solomon The answer was A. King Balak Number 2 the king heard Balaam was the right man to curse the Israelites. What did he offer to give Balaam for the job? A. A wife B. A castle C. Money or D. A dragon The answer was C. Money Number 3. At first Balaam told the king he could not go and curse the Israelites. Who had told Balaam not to go because the Israelites were blessed? A. Balaam's best friend. B. God. C. Moses. Or D. The king's servant. The answer was B. God. Number four, even though he was warned, Balaam decided to take the king up on his offer. Who travelled with him and his donkey? A. The king's servants. B. A band of musicians. C. An army of soldiers. Or D. Pizza delivery boys. The answer was A. Number five, God put an angel in the road to stop Balaam. What did the angel have in his hand? A, a rock. B, a spear. C, a cross. D, a sword. The answer was D. Number six, Balaam did not see the angel that God put in the path. A. True or B. False. A. True. 7. Balaam's donkey was afraid and God opened its mouth to speak. What did the donkey tell Balaam? A. We are all going to die. B. Why are you beating me? C. Remember the time you ate too much pizza? D. I think we'd better go home now and be friends. The answer was B. 
8. The angel was standing by while Balaam and his donkey talked. What did the angel tell Balaam? A. Wow, wish we had fights like this in heaven. B. Let's pray and ask God what to tell us again what he thinks. C. If it had not been for the donkey, I would have killed you. D. Why are you talking to your donkey? The answer was A. C. If it had not been for the donkey, I would have killed you. 9. God opened Balaam's eyes and when the angel spoke to him, he fell on his knees. What did Balaam tell the angel of the Lord? A. I want to do what I want. B. Would you like some lunch? C. Why are you bothering me? D. I have sinned. The answer was D. I have sinned. And the last question, number 10. What did Balaam do after the angel spared his life? A. He took the donkey home and sold it to a better master. B. He went and blessed the Israelites like God wanted. C. He made a temple for the donkey near his house. Or D. He cursed the Israelites and died. The answer was B. Time for the home quiz. So, as always... The first correct answer gets a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the email address for church, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answer. Question number one for the quiz. Balak, king of the Moabites, sent messengers to Balaam, the son of Beor, saying, Curse this people for me since they are stronger than I. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them from the land, for I know that. This is in Numbers 22, verse 5 and 6. For I know that, A, we surely need a miracle to defeat them. B, their God has delivered them from Egypt. And this will not be an easy thing to me to do. C. Whomever you bless is blessed. And whomever you curse is cursed. D. I do not have the power to curse them. Number two. What did Balaam ask the princes of the Moabites to do? Number 22 verse 8. A. Stay the night while he sought the Lord for an answer about what he should do. B. Build an altar outside his house and sacrifice bulls on it. C. Go back to Balak and get twice as much money from him. D. Go home to Moab and sacrifice children while he sought the Lord. Number three. What did God tell Balaam? Number 22, verse 12. A. Go with them and thou shalt curse the people. B. Go with them, but thou shalt not curse the people. C. Thou shalt not go with them, but thou shalt curse the people. D. Thou shalt not go with them, and thou shalt not curse the people. 4. How did Balak respond when he heard Balaam's reply? Number 22, verse 15. A. He was furious and sent his best warrior to kill Balaam. B. He made provision for Balaam and his company to join them. C. He was pleased that the people were going to be cursed. D. He sent more princes of higher rank to visit Balaam. Number five, Balaam told the servants of Balak, if Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, 
This is in number 22 verse 18. A. I would be able to muster an army to go with us. B. I could make an offering to the Lord to see if he would change his mind on this matter. C. I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord my God to do less or more. D. I could speak any curse that he would ask of me. And the last question, number six. Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey and went with the officials of Moab. But his donkey was extremely uncooperative. Why? Number 22 but 23. The donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand. That's A. B. The donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a staff in his hand. C. The donkey did not understand what Balaam wanted it to do. Or D. We are not told. Once more, make sure you send us questions, answers, correct answers to church, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. The first correct answer gets the gift to the church. Have a lovely, lovely Sunday. my covenant with you. To do something like you that are father, like father God, God, he's all knowing. That means he knows everything. Yes. He, he went he knows ahead. Everything he, he knows knew. tomorrow. An art. Like, I'm like I'm you're so silly. silly. Like, like you're, you're so seen out. Like you're so guess a, what? You know. You're you're a, something like you that are like father that God. God. he's all knowing that means he knows everything he went he knows ahead everything he knows tomorrow an art like I'm I'm so silly. Silly. like, like you're, you're so seen out like you're so guess just, what you know you're just made all the same right so and never you feel pressure to do the one thing never feel like you have to follow others never feel like